So now that you know how things work theoretically, let's see how they are done using the AWS console. So this is going to be a very short hands-on demo because we don't have the money or the infrastructure to actually create a VPN connection, but I'll just show you where you can actually go and actually can see how it's being created. So this is your VPC dashboard. As you all know that we have a VPC dashboard and here on the left hand side, you have option for virtual private network or the VPN. That is what we discussed, isn't it? So let's suppose we have an imaginary company and we want to connect our on-premise network to the VPC. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a customer gateway, isn't it? So we'll click on customer gateways. And if you don't have anything, you will just get a button here to create customer gateways. And you can just click on this. To create the customer gateway, you have to just provide the name. And here you can choose between dynamic routing or the static routing. So if you choose the dynamic routing, basically it will be using the BGP ASN or autonomous system number that I already told you. And you can provide your is a number that you know either it can be public or it can be private so it can be static for now so you can provide the ip address of the device name and you can provide the arn of the certificate arn and you can provide the device so enter the name of enter the name for the device that hosts this customer gateway so you can provide this so this customer gateway actually needs your customer device and it needs the all the information regarding the customer device that you can get so based on which you can create the customer gateway for yourself. Once you click on this, once you've filled in the details, you can click on the customer, create customer gateway button and it'll create a customer gateway for you. So now the customer part is done. So now we have to come back to the AWS part. So here we can choose either transit gateways or we can choose the virtual private gateways. But today I'll just talk about the virtual private networks because I want to create a separate video on the transit gateways because I think there is a lot more to discuss on that part. So for now, you can just click on virtual private gateways. And if you don't have anything, then you can just click on create virtual private gateway. Here, you have to just provide a name and you have to provide an Amazon default ASN or a custom ASN. I told you before, use Amazon provided ASN for BGP on Amazon side. Okay, so for dynamic routing, you have to choose the Amazon default ASN or you can provide a custom ASN number for yourself. So once you've created this virtual private gateway, so now what is the next step to create the site to site VPN connection, isn't it? So if you have to create a VPN connection, you have to just click on this and you have to give the name that you want. So creates a name, creates a tag with key equal to name and value set to the specified string. So whatever name you give, it will create a tag with the name called name. And there you can just specify either you want to choose a virtual private gateway. If you choose a virtual private gateway, then you have to just select that from the drop down if you have already created. So it will list the name of the virtual private gateway with the ID. And if not, you can just choose the transit gateway. So the settings will vary a bit depending on what you choose. So as we have created the virtual private gateway, you can choose the virtual private gateway here. And here you can choose an existing customer ID or customer gateway ID, or you can create a new one. Here I can choose the one that I've created, but uh, as you can see, we haven't created anything. So it is saying the no results found, but in case we had created there, then it would show this in the drop down. So we could have selected this, not a problem. And here as well, I can choose the routing mechanism that I want for the, either it can be, either it can be BGP or it can be static. And here the tunneling options we have are IPv4 and IPv6, and you have to provide the local IPv4 network cider and the remote IPv network side. And here there is a tunneling option. So you can customize tunneling inside the CIDR block and provide the pre-shared keys for your VPN tunnel. And if you don't specify them, they will be randomly generated by Amazon. So if you don't provide this, it will be generated by Amazon. So don't worry about this. And there is one more interesting thing that I want to show you that there are additional options for tunneling. And if you don't use this default option, you can actually edit and you can make use of all these encryption algorithms that you want. And you can make your changes or you can customize this as per your requirement. So these are a lot of other information or additional information that we are not going to discuss today. But I think we can make a separate video when we start the series on networking itself. Isn't it? So as we don't, as we won't go ahead and discuss our transit gateways, you can just click on transit gateways here. You have the option. If you want to create it, you will provide the name, you will provide the description, you will provide the ASN number. And you have all these options, whether it should support DNS. And I told you ECMP support. 
VPN ECMP support that is for multiple VPN tunneling which actually enhances the single VPN tunneling capacity of 1.2 Gbps and it increases that capacity so that you can have scalability in place so this also you can enable and you can add it to the default route association table and you can also have the multicast support and all these options you can have once you're well aware of what exactly you need you can come here and configure this as well so once you have created this transit gateway you can come back here and once you create it you can choose the transit gateway that you want and you can select it from the list so that's it uh, actually i don't have much to discuss here because we don't have the money or the infrastructure to actually create anything and to showcase you that how it actually works but this is the way that you can do it and customer gateways uh, if you want to create any customer gateway or you want to know what are the default uh, what are the supported ones that uh, amazon has already tested then you can just google that you can see the list of devices that are currently supported so these are the example configuration files so your customer gateway device can be a physical or a software appliance and these are examples of some of the devices that have device specific configuration files in the amazon vpc console so you can use these not a problem